Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Adobe Firefly's new features to kind of bring some pizzazz to your videos. The base of this video is that it's an about me video. So we're doing text effects inside of Adobe Express. Yes. So I just wanted to write like my name, create your own. I really want some texture because I feel like that brings kind of like a 3D effect to right. it all. So there we go <gasps> with the stuffed love... animal. The stuffed animal prompt is key here. So if you hit this text layout button under the text edit, I hit arch. Wow, look at me, my name. I love it. And you're kind of <laughs> centered to it. So I'm gonna make it pretty big. And then because I wanna bring this into video, what I'm gonna do is change the background color to something that has extreme contrast. And then you can hit your element and go over to animations. And then that's where I did like the loop. I love that. This. So that's how I got this effect without having to do any keyframing, which is always you know, it's nice if you can skip a step. Right. Now you can just plop this on your video. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this as an MP4. We're gonna go into here, I'm gonna rename it Fab Fuzzy. I'm gonna drag that right into my Firefly bin and now I have it in here and I'm going to drag it in. Now from there, we're just gonna go over to effects, hit key. So you wanna hit color key and drag it on top of that clip. Click the clip twice and you should go over to your effect controls. So from here, you just want to click the eyedropper, select your backgrounds, and then we're just gonna increase the tolerance. All right, so I keyed out the green, and so we just have my name in here. One thing I wanna do is have it like maybe stop right here for a little bit. So I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna move this over, and I'm gonna right click this clip and do insert frame hold segment. So if we go from here, it'll just play, pause, and then continue. Right. I don't really want it going over my face. I'm just gonna select them and click option and move those up. And now I have duplicates. I'm gonna right click and select replace with After Effects composition. And that's gonna open After Effects, but do not panic. <laughs> Do not panic, this is gonna be easy, breezy, beautiful, and look really, really good. So from here, just hit the roto brush right here. Double click your composition. And from here, you're just gonna wanna like draw an outline around what you're trying to keep. Now that I have myself outlined, that's who I want to like track. Okay. I'm just gonna press the space bar. My name is and Fabiola it's gonna start Lera, like and I'm a getting all that data. American. And you just want it to like run that whole way through. Famous. You wanna make sure you hit freeze. Once you're there, just click save and let's move back over to Premiere. Yay! There's a little bit in here that I say like based in Philadelphia. I want to have like some Philadelphia vibe in there. And so I have this cheesesteak prompt from ChatGPT's help for Adobe Firefly. And it was, I'm gonna read it out loud to you. Uh, it's like I'm poetry. Here for you. A stunning video of the Philadelphia skyline on a bright, clear spring day. The sky is a vibrant blue with a few soft clouds drifting by. Lush green trees and blooming flowers frame the cityscape. In the foreground, a realistic, delicious Philadelphia cheesesteak with melting cheese and sizzling steak floats playfully through the air, moving as if carried by a gentle breeze. Like that should be on a bench. It, yeah, you know, it should like, be on a plaque It should be somewhere. a plaque. I'm gonna drop this prompt in here and you hit generate. It's like, hey. Oh, it is so funny. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download. You know, let's just bring it in. Drag it down. <laughs> creator based here in Philadelphia. When I was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a little too long, right? You uh, wanna do a right click and hit rate stretch. And that's gonna just like, whoop. here we have a really beautiful, inspiring cheese steak. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can load some of the ones that I already did just to show you. Okay, yeah, so I like this one. It looks really dramatic here, but remember you can tone it down, we can play with it. So I'm gonna drag this right on top of my cheese steak clip. We're gonna go back to effects and get that same color key trick that we used earlier for the text and then kind of key that out. For the blend mode, I think I'm gonna go with light in for now. And it's just too like noticeable. And let's see. Based here in Philadelphia. When I went to college, I did So that's like another way to that. do it, another little effect. That's all I have for you. That's. A lot of little ways to use Adobe Firefly. This was so incredible. Yes, we covered a lot of ground here, guys. I hope you found it helpful. And yeah, I gotta keep playing with Firefly. 